Alright, hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix some of the Fallout 4 input lag and fix some of the FPS as well. Um, this is uh, for NVIDIA users mostly. I think it will work for AMD. It's just the last step that you do isn't for AMD, but it should, it should work. Um, this is a fix, especially if you have high refresh rate monitor like I do. I have a 144 hertz monitor and the animations just don't input well with what you're doing and it just seems slow but after this fix it's fixed a lot of the input lag for me and it works quite well now um, so the first thing you want to do I'm gonna put all the this stuff uh, the links in the description so you don't have to worry about looking for it so the first thing you want to do is go to um, the Nexus mods and go to this page this is the Fallout 4 FPS and VSync fix. So go to this page, it's in the description, and the first thing you want to do is click on files and make sure um, that you are on files and click download manually. Oh, um, so make sure you do click download manually and not download with manager. It says here it has no um, Nexus mod manager support. I don't think uh, mod manager has Fallout 4 support yet. Not too sure, but definitely make sure you press download manually. So we're going to click that, and it's going to download in the bottom left there. So now what you want to do is go to where it's downloaded. So if you've downloaded it on Chrome like I have, just simply click on there and click in, click on Show and Folder, and it's usually going to be in a Downloads folder or wherever um, you've set as to save. So what you want to do is right-click and extract it. But what I am actually going to do is drag it onto my desktop so, so um, you guys can see it properly. And um, make sure you have WinRAR for this as well. It won't work if you don't have WinRAR. Uh, so right click on the folder and click extract here. I'm going to extract it to its own folder. So I'm going to click extract to Fallout 4 FPS. So I'm going to click that. And what it's going to do is create its own folder for me over here. And now make, d double click on that folder and go. you're going to go into this and double click again. And this is what you want. This is what's going to fix the input lag. These two files right here will mostly fix the input lag. Uh, so what you want to do is select both of them, right click, copy. And now what you want to do is find your um, where your Fallout 4 preferences are. And for Windows 10 and 7, I think for all the other uh, OS, I think it's the same. So what you want to do is go to your documents and go to My Games and go to Fallout 4. And this is the page. So just look at the very top thing here. If you, um, this is where it's located. So what you want to do now is simply just right click and paste and make sure you you uh, click on replace uh, the files so you override that. I'm not actually going to do that uh, because I've already done it. I'm also going to explain why I didn't do it just to show you guys. So if you guys do have mods that have made you um, edit stuff in the preferences um, this is going to stop your mods from working. I have a UI mod and it stopped my UI mod from working. So I had to go back and redo the thing again and edit the preferences after I installed the fix. So make sure you do this before you do any of the mods because it might stop the mods from working. But this isn't the, this isn't, um, the very last thing you need to do. The very last thing you need to do now that you've copied and pasted this over. I also recommend you make a backup of the, all these three files here just in case, especially your saves as well. So just close that, right click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. So you're going to get this box, just drag that in a bit, make that a bit larger. What you want to actually do now is click on manage 3D settings and click on global settings. I'm already on global and scroll all the way down until you see vertical sync. Now what you want to do is make sure this is on adaptive or you can turn it off. I'm leaving it at adaptive because um, Fallout 4, especially on my, my rig is pretty powerful and I'm not getting over 40 frames much. So this will keep it capped 
at 60 and uncap it when it needs to be uncapped that tensor name adaptive you can also turn it off if you need it if you need to if you are getting over um 40 frames um but yeah so when you've done that um so if i put it as off now make sure you hit apply okay and that's all there is to it that's how simple it is to fix a lot of the input lag the menu works so much smoother now there's another way to do this actually that I'm not going to show because it messes up all the animation and a lot of stuff in game and that one would be to change one of the uh, preferences uh, figures to a, a zero and it's not very this 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 uh, method is a lot better and doesn't um, mess your game up so yeah if you did if this did fix some of the input lag on your fallout make sure you leave a like and make sure you leave a sub i have been doing some fallout 4 let's plays of the main story and i will finish that um in due time and it's and there's a video going up every day so stay tuned uh g give me a sub and you'll see videos every day from me so thanks for watching i hope this fixed your issues um, so I'll see you guys in the next episode.